Okay, this is Christopher Parr. I'm here at LiPo Connection Solutions. You might know me as IceQ57 on the Endless Fear Forum. Um, I'm doing uh, battery testing and I just got done with the 15C graphene pack. And I must say that I am not impressed at all, at all with this pack. Um, I was would have thought that this would have been better than the multi-star, but it, it simply is, I don't think it is because, I mean, one, considering that they spent all of this money to put this battery pack in a nice box and case and everything, you would think that a sale of this quality would have um, match sales and everything. And, um... The IR on these packs is just like all over the place. The IR on these packs would sit around um, 2 being the lowest, and it was like 2.2, 2.5, and then it was, the other one was like 3 and some change. And after every single discharge, it kept climbing. So when you look at the discharge uh, charts for this pack, it was fine at 1C, and as I kept stepping up the amperage, you, you mean the IR got worse, the voltage spread got worse, the performance of the pack got worse. And so this is a 15C pack, and it has 14 gauge wires on there, but yet uh, Turnigy Multistar has, like, I believe, uh, 10, gauge, 10 gauge leads on it. So if these both are the same C pack, then why aren't, you know, why aren't they equal? I mean, like, I mean, I know this is uh, uh, apples and oranges type thing, but, you know, here it is. We have a graphene pack, and it has 10-gauge wire out on it, and it's 65C. Uh, so I think, like I said, the Multistar has 10-gauge, too, and it's uh, 10C. So why does this 15C graphene pack have 10-gauge wire? I think it's like... I don't know, it's like they knew this was a piece of shit. And I, like, I've been on the forums and I've seen multiple versions of, of this pack, you know, for sale or for resale where somebody bought it and, you know, and sold it immediately. But, you know, unlike this other graphene pack, you know, it was okay at 1C, but the harder, the harder I pushed this pack, the more, the lower the IR got and the better it, you know, the better it performed. I know that this is a 65C pack and this is a 15C, so I w I'm not expecting the same performers, but I mean, they're in the same series and you're hyping this stuff up. And, you know, the one cell that did perform okay in it, you know, it was, it was okay. I'm going to try to, with the, with the uh, data that I have, I'm going to try to show a comparison or at least of that one good cell. But do I think that you know, this is worth the money right now. You know, is this a step up from the multi-star? Because they do have larger versions of this pack. And I'm like, I'm not seeing it there. Because like I said, there's, there was already two bad sales in this pack. I mean, I wouldn't even say there were two bad sales. They actually performed fine at 1C. Anything past that, they just started drifting. And they were performing all right at 5C and possibly 10C. But anything past that, they just, you know, they really, you know, they really started suffering. And, and the thing is, my thing about this is, you know, the pack is still quite firm. Okay, I'll understand if I was pushing this pack super hard and it bloated up. But this pack is still, is still firm, you know. But the IR on that one one cell, I mean, as soon as I put like a, I mean, again, I know I'm pushing these cells hard, but as soon as I put a 50 amp load on it, it dropped, I mean, it dropped like a rock to three volts a cell. And, um, and the other cells were fine. I mean, the other one, there was other flaky cell. It was kind of okay, but you know, the good cell was actually holding, holding the load, but basically there was two cells that weren't performing as they should, and so, I mean, that's one of the reasons why when I got these packs, I wanted to have multiple cell packs, like a three cell or a four cell, because it would give me a better chance to graph the packs, and I would have a better data set, 
but you know two out of the three cells are bad at this so I never really could get full discharge test at the at the higher C rating but I've already tested this past 15 C and just as we say that the quarter C rule applies to hobby king packs the quarter C rule applies to this you know even when I did 5 C I was like you know what 5 C is pushing this pack a little too hard um, I don't see the value here in the graphene pack. I mean, like, if again, if you looked at how it's packed and everything, I was excited on how it was packed. I mean, they really care about the packs and how they ship them. And, you know, it was almost like, you know, getting pieces of gold or something. I mean, it came in a velvet bag. But as I test these, uh, as I test the battery, I'm like, I knew at 1C that this was going to be, comical like even when I got up to 15 C I just I just kind of had to laugh I'm like that's this this pack sucks I mean in every aspect and so like I said I know they have larger graphene get graphene packs and I'm, I'm still with the multi-star as a 16 amp hour multi-star over graphene you know considering out the gate that I barely put five cycles on this pack and it's pretty much Garbage. I mean, like I said, I can use it at one C as like you know, uh, you know, a cell phone charger pack or whatever. But you know, this pack is ruined. You know, because like I said, the the IR like was at nine. It was like three, three on the three on the lower cells that were still kind of performing okay. But the worst, the worst uh pack. I mean, the worst cell in this pack actually when it got done charging, it had a IR of nine. And that is no good for e-bike. And again, I'm like, I'm kind of biased. I really wanted to root for this pack. But, you know, as it stands right out the gate, you know, I could technically file a warranty claim on this. But then again, I was abusing the shit out of it. So, I mean, I did push it past its claim C rating and everything. And like I said, you know, it is, you know we have to uh, do this in the name of science and all of that. But. You know, even after, I would say, what was it, the 20C discharge, the, the 15C and the 20C discharge, I was like, something is going on, going wrong here, especially when I saw that rainbow curve where it sunk like a rock and recovered a little bit and then sunk again, and it didn't give anywhere near full capacity. I think it was giving like 2,200 at that point, but again, that's because it's discharging the lowest cell, and once that lowest cell hits three volts, then, you know, it, it, it cuts the discharge, so the one good cell in that pack, it probably performed okay. I need to, like I said, do the overlay charts at least on that good cell, and I may have to do it at like you know the 15C rating compared and compared to some of the other cells that I I tested. But I don't know, man. This is a uh, I can like I said I can definitely say this 65C was on it. This uh, 15C obviously they rated at 15C, and it's just not there. Maybe these are rejects or something, but. I mean, it's not even, I can't even say this was maxed out the box, you know, because like I said, after, after I went to um, 5C testing, it was just, you, you just automatically knew that there was a bad sale in the pack, and then, you know, went to 10C, and then you just really saw there was three different grades of sale. There was one that really, really sucked, had high R, one that was mediocre, and one that was operating fine, so... I and mean, I, I can go on about this pack, but, you know, I would say for right now, this is a no-go. Maybe we will revisit this later. Maybe I just need to get another pack and retest it again. But, and I don't think there there's any, like, wake-up cycles. Because, I mean, these other packs perform fine out the box. And I consider that 1C, that 1C discharge a wake-up. You know, and like I said, the harder I discharged this 65C graphene pack, the better it performed. The sale warmed up, the IR went down, and it performed great. This one, I mean, like I said, even on the 5C and 10C discharge, this pack was warming up quite considerably. Like, um, these packs were getting up to like 55, 60C, and then once the discharge stopped, it was going up another 5 or 10C. So, I mean, these packs were getting extremely hot. And again, this pack is still still firm. Nothing, nothing squishy about it. The pack is firm. 
so it should be performing like it should. You know, you know the B grade, the B grade cells perform better than this. That 65C perform better than this. Um, you know, it, right now I'm looking at the uh, multi-star performing better than this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I give this a thumbs down. You know, like I said, I would even buy the B grade 40C cell over this graphene. Um, 15C any day. And like I said, I haven't cycle done any cycle testing, but this isn't a good indicator. The heat generation is not a good indicator. The IR isn't a good indicator. I mean, like I said, the multi stars have a better IR than this this pack. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for watching.